James, sir. May I begin, sir? Jai Hindu one and all. My name is Deepadu. I am studying fifth class P section. Today, I am going to speak about reversing democracy for stability. Today, we find ourselves at a crucial junction in the journey of our great nation, India, known for its vibrant demography, has often navigated through various challenges and succeeded, standing as inspiration, stability as resilience. However, the current dynamics call for a thoughtful reflection on our democratic practices, particularly the concept of reversibility to ensure stability and sustainable for our nation. Democracy, with its inherent principles of freedom, equality and justice, are the cornerstones of the nation's progress. Yes, it is imperative to recognize that the unchecked track of absolute freedom can lead to instability. Hence, the idea of reversibility in democracy emerges as a critical mechanism to safeguard our society equilibrium. Reversibility in democracy implies a recognition for responsible government where rights of individuals are balanced with the collective well-being of the society. It advocates for a system where the rule of law is upheld and the institutions of government operate independently and it promotes a culture of accountability and transparency. When it comes to India's democratic regression, there are three principal areas of concern. The consolidation of Hindu majoritarian branch of politics, the excessive concentration power in the executive and decay in independent institutions, a clampdown on political dissent and freedom of the press. Embracing reversibility allows us to course correct when necessary. Ensuring the fabric of our democracy remains resilient and strong. When we move forward, it is vital for us to foster a culture of open dialogue and constructive dissent, where differing opinions are respected and diverse voices are heard. Furthermore, this culture of inclusivity is integral to the concept of reversibility. It encourages the exploration of various perspectives and in the formulation of well-formed and balanced policies. It divides us to uphold the commitment of constitutional values that form the bedrock of our democratic framework. By nurturing a society that values justice, equality and pluralism, we can protect the foundations of our democracy, ensuring its endurance to the test of time. Let us therefore collectively embrace the spirit of reversibility in democracy, understanding its significance in poster in a stable and progressive India. By upholding the principles of responsible governance, open dialogue, constitutional values, we can build a future that not only preserves the essence of democracy, but also drives our nation towards greater heights and peace for prosperity and unity. Democracy is not only a political system, but also a fundamental expression of individual rights and freedom. Reversing it possesses the risk of sacrificing these values of illusion for stability. History teaches that the unchecked power can lead to abuse, suppression of erosion and civil liberties. Perhaps an assessment of democratic processes increased collaboration between the branches of government with a commitment of transparency and accountable government can strike a balance. In conclusion, the pursuit of stability is an honorable goal, but we must be regulated protecting these democratic principles that define our societies. A nuisance to approach and ability and strengthening the democratic institutions might be the key to achieve both stability and preservation of our most cherished values. Thank you for giving me this golden opportunity, Jai Hind.